Okay, one of the most missed obvious things you can do on your LinkedIn profile to help you get more leads and sales is using the LinkedIn cover photograph. So what am I talking about? If you go to LinkedIn and you click on your profile over here, view profile, the cover photograph is this piece here. Okay, so it's behind your profile photograph and quite often people will have it missing. So if we click on, just because it's on my screen right now, no harm meant to anybody, but if we click on Michelle over here and we look and we see, so Michelle's got a fabulous photograph, looks like it's professionally taken, but hasn't got a cover photograph. So now she's brand new on LinkedIn, she's only 17 connections. But my advice to her would be make sure that you fill in your cover photograph or add your cover photograph. So how do you do it? So you go to your profile and over here, so you're on your own profile, you click on this little pencil here and it says background photograph and you would then add in your photograph. Now, it's going to have specific sizes to fit. So there are a couple of key things here we want to have. We want to make sure that you're not um, hiding anything behind your profile photograph. You wanna make sure it works on mobile as well as desktop. And we wanna make sure it's the right size. So let me just grab those sizes for you. And let me now, what I'm going to do is show you how to make your cover photograph in one of my favorite platforms, which is called canva.com. Okay, so canva.com, you can use the free version or if you have the um, upgraded version and you're paying for it, that's fine too. Um, but you can do this with the free version. So what we'll do is the, easy, the quickest and easiest way is to go here and type in LinkedIn banner. There we are, click on that. And it gives you the size here. So it's saying and the size it should be, I'll just move up there. And it's got all of these designs. Okay, so if you have your own branding colors, I suggest you use those. Um, you could say, well, I'm generally using this kind of color, Louise, and it's going to give me an example one. Okay, um, but clear that. So these are the template options. Um, and then you can do also do a, a blank one. But let's pick a template. Why, why wouldn't we use a template? One of the key um, reasons to choose a template is that these are already professionally designed by graphic designers. So the style, the colors, the, and the coordination of these are already professionally designed. So if you don't have this um, skill set yourself, I suggest you use one that is already designed. Um, you don't want to pick one that lots of people are using. Um, but say we want to, let's just scroll down here. And okay, so there's, there looks like a relatively nice one there. And you click on it. And then what you can do is chop and change what's in here. So for example, if you click on here and double click, we can write in sample. So let's just write Louise Brogan Limited, which is my company name. And then in here, I'm going to write LinkedIn with Louise. Okay, so if I want to swap any of these items out, that looks like it's an entire sticker. So I could do backspace to remove it. If I think that's a mistake, I want to bring it back. Just go up the top here and click undo. Um, or let's say, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Cover photograph. It's better. And it's literally taken me about 60 seconds to make. What I would do then is I would go up here and I would click download and, oops, move that over. Um, file type suggested, PNG, perfect. Download it, save it. Let's just do that. Let's just save it um, now. And I'm gonna save in here, perfect. All right, and I'm going to go straight back to LinkedIn here. And what I'm going to do is click on the pencil and you click on, now if you haven't done it before, it'll be upload. If you have got one there already, you click on change photo 
and we're going to just grab the picture that we just did. Hopefully you're a little bit better professionally organized in <laughs> your uh, drive. Let's just grab it. Just searching. Okay, find it and click open. There it is. And then you can zoom in. I was thinking, okay, we could do it that way. Drag and drop around if you want. Um, and then you can say which way I want it. You can see it says straight and zero, so it's straight on there. And it's definitely too zoomed. <laughs> zoom back out again. You can change the filter on it. Oh, like that color a bit better. Um, and you can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, and vignette. Okay, I wouldn't play around with these things too much. Remember I said that um, if you're using Canva, they're professionally designed templates, so why wouldn't you use those? And you would just click apply, and that will change your cover photograph. So hopefully you find that useful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you'd like to uh, get more tips and advice on how to use LinkedIn for your business, uh, your personal profile, your company page, make sure you subscribe for to the channel and keep up with all your tips on LinkedIn for business.